Okay, more applications of integration. Here's finding the average value, finding the average height. So find the average value of f of x, find the of f of x equals tan of x on the interval zero to pi fourth. So there's lots of ways to look at this, but, but I guess the first thing you should do is try to figure out what values should you be expecting. I mean, what height value should you be expecting? So what I would do is here, I would take tan of zero and tan of zero is well, look at, I guess here's tan. Tan of x is sine x, isn't it, over cosine x. So tan of 0, oops, not tan of 0, but tan of 0 is sine of 0, and sine of 0 happens to be 0, and cosine of 0 happens to be 1, so that's 0. And then you would take tan of pi force, and tan of pi force is still sine over cosine, which is, Square root 2 over 2 over square root 2 over 2. And if you're like, where the hell is he getting this stuff? Unit circle, right? So unit circle. So this should give us some range of average value here. The average value on this interval for tan should be greater than 0, but less than 1. So, And I think that's really important to kind of have some expected value there. So there's that. So let's start our way through this. It's actually, very, I think, very straightforward. So to find f average, and if you don't like my uh, notation, sorry about that, but f average is 1 over, well, pi force minus 0, right? Pi force minus 0 there, times the interval, uh, the integral from 0 to pi force, and it's the definite integral, isn't it? of tan of x dx. So from here, I think we can we can start to integrate. And I think the integration of this is as easy. Uh, the answer to it is it's as easy as you, you've made it by memorizing this, uh, the integral of this thing right here. So I'm going to start with this. This is going to end up being 1 over pi force. It's a complex fraction. So I'm going to rewrite that, right? I'm going to do my complex fraction work. And I'm going to get 4 over pi. If you're confused about that, please look at my video on, uh, on complex fractions. And what is the integral of tan x dx? Well, it is opposite ln of the absolute value of cosine x, isn't it? As evaluated from 0 to pi fourths. So there's our start right there. Again, if you're troubled with how did we get from here to here, I would suggest if you're in Larson, I would suggest you go to page 337 and go back and memorize those, those things. Uh, remember, this is a definite integral, so there is no C value. So if you're memorizing those formulas and you're like, where's the C? Well, this is a definite integral, so there's no C value here. So let's just start using the, right? Now we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, and we're going to do... Uh, this negative sign, if you don't mind, this negative sign here is this one right here. I'm just going to bring this out. So of 4 over pi times, well, ln of, ln of square root 2 over 2 minus ln of 1. One, and if you're looking at that going, what the hell is going on, going on here? Well, think about this for a second. That cosine of pi fourths is square root 2 over 2. Cosine of 0, right? We're on the unit circle here. Cosine of 0 is 1. So this one is this one right here. So hopefully that's okay with you. And then some stuff you have to think about here is that what this means here is it means log base e of 1 equals what? And that the question here is e to what exponential value equals 1? And it's 0. So 
so this thing goes to zero. So we get negative four over pi times ln square root two over two. Right, square root two over two there. Take these out. Square root two over two. Right? Minus zero, so it's just that, isn't it? And from here, this is really calculator work, and if you plug this into your calculator, this comes out to be a negative value, and this turns out is also a negative, so a negative times a negative is a negative, and the value comes out to be about 0.441, I think. 0.441. So, of course, you can test that, so I hope that you do. Okay, so I think that gives us that... I'm going to do a couple more videos like this, and we'll talk our way through them, all right? So take good notes, and here, that's, uh, add that to your applications.